After logging more than 300,000 miles of real-world driving across multiple vehicles, I ran into a result so unexpected it forced me to question almost everything we've been told about engine oil. Oils advertised as 20,000-mile solutions were breaking down before 5,000 miles. A low-cost oil most people dismiss quietly outperformed several premium brands. And the biggest surprise of all, changing your oil too frequently may actually be accelerating engine wear instead of preventing it. In this video, you're going to see real lab reports, long-term wear data, and professional mechanic insight from a 300,000-mile oil test that stunned even experienced engineers. Stay until the end because I'll reveal which oils survived, which ones failed early, and the single maintenance habit that nearly doubled engine life. Section 1. How the 300,000-mile test was done Before any conclusions were drawn, the testing method had to be bulletproof. This was not a short-term lab experiment or a sponsored demonstration. It was a multi-year endurance test using three identical Toyota 2.5-liter inline-four engines, chosen because of their proven reliability and predictable wear characteristics. Ten different synthetic oils were tested in rotation under controlled conditions. Each vehicle followed similar city and highway driving cycles, similar climates, and similar load patterns. Oil samples were pulled every 5,000 miles and analyzed by Blackstone Laboratories and Polaris Labs. Wear metals, viscosity, oxidation, fuel dilution, and additive health were tracked every step of the way. The goal was simple. Strip away marketing claims and answer one question honestly. Which oils actually protect engines over the long haul? Section 2. What happens to engines without proper oil behavior? By 50,000 miles, clear differences were already showing up in the data. Engines running lower quality or poorly formulated oils began to show rising iron and aluminum levels, early signs of bearing and piston wear. Viscosity loss became a problem as some oils thinned dramatically under sustained heat. Carbon deposits started forming on piston rings and valve stems. One lab report from a low-tier synthetic oil came back with a warning stating the oil was severely depleted, oxidation was high, and the additive package was exhausted. Within a few thousand miles, that engine developed audible lifter noise. Meanwhile, engines running oils that maintained viscosity and healthy TBN values stayed quiet and clean with minimal metal wear. The lesson was already becoming clear. Oil quality matters more than oil change frequency. Section 3. The Midpoint. What happened after 150,000 miles? At 150,000 miles, long-term trends were impossible to ignore. Engines consistently running true synthetic oils, particularly Group 4 formulations, showed remarkably stable wear rates. Iron, lead, and copper levels barely increased compared to early samples. Engines running lower-grade synthetics, often refined petroleum-based oils, showed accelerating wear as mileage increased. Protection didn't improve with age, it declined. As engines accumulated miles, internal clearances widened, temperatures rose, and deposits formed. Only oils with strong additive chemistry, including zinc, molybdenum, and boron, maintained protective films under these conditions. By the time the odometers crossed 200,000 miles, the separation between oils was no longer subtle. Section 4. The shocking 200,000-mile finding where most oils failed. Many drivers believe changing oil every 5,000 miles guarantees safety. The data proved otherwise. At 200,000 miles, we ran extended 10,000-mile intervals to reflect how modern drivers follow manufacturer recommendations. Five out of 10 oils experienced viscosity collapse, thinning from 5W30 to near 5W20. Detergent additives were depleted. TBN dropped into the danger zone. In one engine, the oil became thick and gritty, triggering low oil pressure warnings. That engine failed shortly after, with scored bearings and sludge buildup. In contrast, oils like Amsoil Signature, Redline, and HPL Euro maintained strong TBN levels and resisted oxidation. When valve covers were removed, the difference was visual. Clean golden metal versus dark varnish and sludge. Same engines, different chemistry. Section 5. The Hidden Factor – Detergent Fatigue 
Most people don't realize oil is also a cleaning agent. Every mile driven, detergents neutralize acids and suspend contaminants. Cheap synthetics lose that ability quickly, sometimes in just a few thousand miles. Once detergents are depleted, sludge begins forming and additives can separate from the base oil. That's why some engines look dirty even with frequent oil changes. High-end oils maintain detergent stability because their additives are chemically bonded and resist heat breakdown. That single difference often determines whether an engine reaches 300,000 miles or fails far earlier. Section 6. The moment oil started failing and why. Around 230,000 miles, a critical divergence appeared. Oil doesn't fail because it looks dirty. It fails because its chemistry collapses. The base oil can remain intact while the additive package dies. Once additives are gone, wear accelerates rapidly. Oils with strong additive systems continued protecting metal surfaces. Cheaper oils hit a wall. TBN dropped, acid levels rose, and microscopic metal particles began appearing in samples. Once that process starts, damage becomes irreversible. The only defense is slowing it down with stable chemistry. Section 7. The Hidden Fuel Oil Connection – What No One Tells You Fuel quality turned out to be a major factor. Engines running E10 ethanol fuel showed oil oxidation rates about 15% faster than engines using non-ethanol fuel. Ethanol introduces moisture, which attacks additives and thins oil. Short trips made the problem worse by increasing fuel dilution. Even premium oil can fail early when paired with poor fuel. Using top-tier gasoline with proper detergent blends reduced carbon buildup and extended oil life significantly. Section 8 the $30 oil test that exposed everything. The most valuable tool in this entire experiment wasn't expensive equipment, it was oil analysis. For under $30, anyone can send a small oil sample to a lab and receive a detailed report. These reports revealed exactly when oil stopped protecting. In one case, a popular brand showed depleted additives and low viscosity. After switching oils and retesting, wear levels stabilized. For less than the cost of a meal, drivers can see inside their engine in ways no dashboard warning ever could. Section 9. The number one habit that doubled engine life. After 300,000 miles, the most powerful discovery wasn't about brand names, it was about consistency. Engines that used the same oil, same filter, and same interval showed dramatically less wear. Switching brands disrupted additive chemistry, mixing oils weakened protective films. Engines that stayed loyal to one oil averaged significantly lower wear and cooler operating temperatures. Consistency allowed protective layers to bond to metal surfaces and stay there. Section 10. Real-world example, the 1 million mile taxi test. To validate the findings, we looked at real-world endurance vehicles. A Toyota Camry in Chicago surpassed 1 million miles using Amzofla 5W30 with premium filters. When inspected, the engine still showed visible cylinder crosshatching, smooth cam surfaces, and compression close to factory specs. That's not marketing, that's chemistry working over time. Section 11 what most drivers still get wrong. Even with clear data, many drivers repeat the same mistakes. Choosing oil based on price, using cheap filters, ignoring short trip contamination, mixing brands and viscosities, assuming fresh oil equals full protection. Engines don't fail suddenly, they wear down molecule by molecule. Oil either slows that process down or accelerates it. Section 12, Expert Takeaway. How to build the perfect oil routine. If you want your engine to reach 300,000 miles or more, the formula is proven. Choose one top-tier synthetic oil, use a high-efficiency filter, test your oil periodically, stay consistent, avoid aggressive driving on cold starts, limit ethanol exposure when possible, track oil health, not just mileage. Engines don't die from age, they die when chemistry fails.